This is the first thing we did, though, eh? This guy's to fly out, guys. Oh! Oh! Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right go. So you wanted to rhyme something with Friday night, <laughs> and the only word that was workable was Friday kite. Night. Well, I was so dark about that shitty sketch, and here's guys trying to fly a kite. <laughs> and really, now that my show's been cancelled, I should have been more grateful for that great opportunity. Bonjour, welcome to Paris. Under the Eiffel Tower, very romantic setting, and we had to eat all these unusual dishes. But we started, like, at the lower end of the unusual scale with some beef tartare, but... It's a raw mint. <laughs> raw mint. And I have the weakest stomach. <laughs> And then starts vomiting under the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the game. I remember us walking away going, that should never be played anywhere. But the desperation to fill like <laughs> an hour every week, we ended up playing it. <laughs> oh, this is where making you do your stand up in public. It's great to be here in Auckland today. It was great to be here yesterday and the day before that as well. I live here. I still do that joke. It's still a great joke. Still, still a great joke. That. Do you know when you're about to be pranked? I always kind of do because people on the team, they kind of have whispery conversations around you. You're like, oh, something's going to happen. I know I'm about to be pranked because um, there's a camera crew filming me moments before. I'm like, why is this camera crew free filming now? Did you suspect anything because we flew you to Australia? I'm here to interview Hamish and Andy about their new show starting next week on 3. Oh, that burned so hard. And then I bleakly sat there and wa washed flour off my face as John and Ben did the interview. And John did one of my questions that I had pranked in the interview to Hamish and Andy. Ah! The thing about getting pranked is it does actually have an effect on you. There was times where you guys prank me like literally every week. And like you would, like everything you showed up to, you'd be like, is this a prank? Is you get a prank? parking ticket. You're like, is this a prank or have I got a prank? The doctor's ticket? acting a bit <laughs> weird. You're like, is this a prank? <laughs> What's going on here? No, you seriously do have prostate issues. <laughs> Not a prank. The one that um, I kind of had suspicions was when I went out there and you told the whole audience not to laugh at all. Oh, yes, so I bombed so with sure. every joke and I was like, these are quality Guy Williams gags. There's no way they can fail <laughs> like that. So we told everyone not to laugh. It was awkward. Here yesterday and the day before that as well. I live here. <laughs> Same, Same joke. joke. You know, there's a fine line between pranking and workplace bullying. <laughs> it's time to talk about the time I got kicked off the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles red carpet. <laughs> One of the greatest red carpets in history. I'm here to interview Megan Fox from... I'm here for the green carpet of the Ninja Turtles premiere. Stay focused on me. And then the next day we're doing the one-on-one -on -one sit down interviews and I got a call from my boss saying, um, you're not doing it. And I was like, why the hell not? And they're like, apparently you were touching the celebrities on the face. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I was doing that. <laughs> No, not my face. Not my face? Our worst interview would have been that Jared Leto one. We were nervous about this because we didn't know if he was going to get our sort of crappy gag. He's notoriously volatile, isn't he? You have hair dye. Did you have to do this every morning when you were uh, <laughs> Did you guys... Let me tell you, by the way, you look pretty... Good. He was happy, we were happy, we walked out of there. I think we, we high-fived each other going, yes, we made Jared Leto happy. And then we had this lady come up to she us. She was this terse American lady. No, she was like, what the f*** was that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I had my head hair hung in shame with green hair dye lipstick. She's like, what the f***? Do you think this is some sort of f joke? And then I lifted my face up, and my real lips were sad. <laughs> but my joker face was lips were not sad. I mean, she's like, wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> oh, no, not this. Oh, we're in the set San Francisco playing this game. Ben thought this guy was doing baseball signals to him. Because I was dressed like a baseball player, and they do they do hand signals. You know that, right? So I thought you were doing baseball signals. I'm so sorry. Oh, I was mortified. <laughs> they were deaf. <laughs> wow. That's like the time oh. Ryan Seacrest tried to high five a blind guy, eh? I felt so bad, because I was like, yeah, and the guy... You should. You're a horrible person. <laughs>